Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the three sisters of planting. So I'm going to write that first up here at the top. The three sisters planting. And this is the method the uh, Native Americans had been using for their agriculture for thousands of years. And it is planting plants that are companions to each other, therefore the three sisters. Okay, so what we're going to do is take four fingers in the middle and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line to the left, come back to the dot, slightly wavy line all the way up, keep going, keep going, and let's stop there. I come across one finger, put a dot, now I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line down, go back to the dot, and we're going to draw a slightly wavy line up, keep going, and we're going to leave this top part open and floating. I come back down to the bottom, right about here, and I draw a curve line out and down, curve line up and connect. Come right across, curve line out and down, curve line in, up, connect. Come up a little ways further, curve line out, up, in, connect. Right across, curve line out, up, in, connect. And one more if you have room, curve line out, up, down, connect, curve line out, down, up, in, connect. I come all the way up to the top and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five slightly straight lines. And right here I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five diagonal lines and underneath each one I'm just going to go wavy wavy line connect, wavy line connect, wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect. Okay? This is my first sister. This is my corn. You plant the corn first because the next thing you're going to plant and I'm going to come back down and I'm going to extend this line a little bit and I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two lines and these are my pole beans and I'm going to have my pole beans do a curve line up, around, up, around, up, around, and leave that one out. This, these are my beans that are going to grow on the corn as their steak. So I come down at the bottom and I'm just going to go curve line out, in, curve line out, in. These are my beans. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in. Wherever you have room, curve line out, in, up, Curve line out, in, up. Curve line out, in, up. Maybe right here, curve line out, in, up. Now, we're all going to end up with a different amount of beans because we all draw differently. Okay. So, you've got to have the corn first. Then you come in and you have your beans, pole beans, go around the stalk of the corn. That's the first sister, first two sisters. Our third sister is this one. Starting down at the bottom with the line that we left here, and I'm just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I'm going to move over, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now these are organic 
So these leaves, these are big squash leaves, they can be as big as you want and they can be placed where you want because we all draw differently but it is basically curve line curve line then to make sure they look like leaves put a cur slightly curved line one two three slightly curved line one two three curved line one two three curved line one two three but now you say where are the squash here they are they're hiding under the leaves so I draw a straight line curve line straight line up connect move over let's draw a straight line curve line up connect straight line curve line up connect and let's do one right here straight line curve line up connect now I come in and I just draw straight lines inside. This also will be a different amount for everybody because we all draw differently. I'm going to add a line here to straighten out my squash. And the squash is now the third sisters because these all complement each other as they're growing. The pole beans put nitrogen into the soil for the corn. The corn provides the support for the bean vines and the squash leaves shades the ground for all of the sisters to grow. So each one is dependent on the other. Okay? Now let me see if I've done everything because you know how I am. I know. Let's label this. So this top one, this first one is the corn. C-O-R-N. That's the first sister. The little beans are pole beans. Let's label that. Pole beans. And they've got to be those kind of beans or it doesn't work. And these down here are our squash. Okay? The three sisters. Corn, pole beans, and squash. Native American. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I tried to find as many of my greens as I could. We always work light to dark. I'm going to try and do my corn stalk first. I'm just going to put some lines of light yellow green on this so that you can have a double color. Okay, then with my regular green, I'm going to lightly color over the stalk. Now you got to have the corn stalk planted first because that is what your bean pole, pole beans, sorry, um, use at, to grow on. That's why they wrap around the stalk of the corn. Now they would usually grow these in clusters so you wouldn't just have one, you would have a group. And they would grow them in a mound. Okay, so that is my pole I mean that is my corn. Now because I want to make sure that you can see my pole beans, I'm making them blue. Even though blue is not really the color that they are, I want you to be able to see them. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm coloring the little loops of beans. They kind of look like string beans. That's the first part I'm going to do. And But then I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to draw the line going around the corn stalk so you can see how it supports the pole beans. Okay? So these are my these are these are the first two sisters, the corn and the pole beans. Then I found a third green. I think it's called sea foam. And I did my big squash leaves. Now the big squash leaves are very important because they cover and shade the uh, ground for all the sisters to grow. Once I did that I came in and I want my squash to kind of stand out so I'm working light to dark and I'm using yellow for my lines and then to make them really pop I'm coming back in 
and I'm doing orange. Okay. The three sisters of planting. And not only was it a good way to plant, but this is also a very nutritious, complementary companion plants in a garden. Okay? They're nutritionally sound. Three plants working together. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my finished Three Sisters planting and the Iroquois taught the uh, first settlers, a European settlers, how to plant this way to help them get through those cold winters. Okay, bye-bye.